Hey everyone, I discovered this pretty cool trick yesterday for getting a free digital ocean server for a full year that I wanted to share with you guys. This is perfect for back to school if you're a college student in computer science or uh, something in software or uh, web development, anything like that. This is perfect for sharing your assignments with your teachers or uh, even if you just need a Linux operating system to work on your bash assignments, things like that. This would be perfect for you. So you'll get a full 12 months for free if you follow this tutorial. If you're not a student, you can still get two months free, but to get those extra 10 months, you need to prove that you're a student. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to go into the description of this video and use my referral code. Uh, the reason for this is that you'll get $10 credit on DigitalOcean that you will be able to spend. Otherwise, you would not get this credit if you don't use the referral code. And I also get a nice little kickback too, so it's kind of win-win. So that'll be in the description, it's this code here. So we go to it, and then with this referral code, uh, you can now sign up, and you'll get a $10 credit onto your new account. You can sign up with Google, or you can just do uh, sign up through DigitalOcean. You will have to put in credit card information though. The reason for this is that they will charge you after your credit is up. So uh, you can cancel your VPS early and you won't get charged, but they do require credit card information to be entered. Now, once you are signed in, your view will be a little bit different than mine here, but if you go down to the billing section, you should be able to see your credit. Now, mine is at 50 right now, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can get $50 of additional credit if you're a student, but it should say 10 for you, and you should be able to uh, use that $10 to open up a droplet, which is a VPS. Now don't do that just yet. If you're a student, you need to get your $50 credit first. Otherwise, it'll be too late. You won't be able to redeem the code. If you're not a student, then this part of the video is done for you. Uh, so now you can open up a droplet at the lowest tier. I'll show you how to do that quickly. You click the Create button here and create a cloud server. You select the distribution of the operating system you want. Ubuntu is usually good for most people. I've selected uh, Debian for my personal one. And if you go to the lowest tier here, you can see it's $5 per month. So with the $10 credit, you get two months, obviously. And the specs on this, obviously one gigabyte of memory, one CPU doesn't sound amazing, but for school and stuff like that, that should be fine. So if you are a student, you're going to want to watch this part of the video where you can get an extra $50 credit through GitHub if you prove that you're a student. So that'll get you an extra 10 months on the VPS. So what you want to do is go to education.github.com. It'll bring you here. Go to students. Join GitHub Education. And here you'll see all the benefits that you can get from proving that you're a student on GitHub. So you can see there's the AWS. You can get some cloud hosting there. You get some pretty good credit through it. You have the $50 Digital Ocean credit here for new users. And of course you get unlimited private repositories, which is normally $7 per month, which is very useful. I used that when I was a student and I was able to benefit from that a lot. And you can also get uh, a free .me domain name with SSL certification. Uh, SSL certification is useful for school projects as well, especially if you're going to be working on progressive web apps and stuff like that you need an SSL certification on your domain name in order to host those kinds of things. And if you're a game development student, you can get Unreal Engine 4 for free as well here. So you're going to want to go back up here, click get your pack. And here it's going to ask you if you're a student who's 13 and over. So you say, yes, I'm a student. And here it's going to ask for some information about you. So you put your full name here, and you upload a picture that will prove that you are a student. So what I did was I just used my school ID. It's a very simple ID. This not even from a big school. Uh, it's for a college. I think it says I'm a computer science student on there, but there's pretty much nothing on it. They're pretty uh, laid back with this kind of stuff. You want to give your school name when you're graduating and uh, tell them how you plan on using GitHub. So you can say that you want to use it to host your projects privately, stuff like that, and then submit it. When I submitted mine, I think it only took a couple days to get verified as a student so that I can get the student status on GitHub. 
So it's pretty quick. So once you get confirmed that you're a student, you can actually go on to GitHub into your settings and then in the billing section, and you'll be able to see if you have the student status. As you can see for me right now, it says I have a developer unlimited private repository plan. And I have this activated coupon for two years, $7 off per month. And mine expires uh, in November, it looks like. All right, so once you know you have student status, you can go back to the uh, student developer pack page. And then here you can see it's changed a little bit. So you actually have links to be able to redeem your coupons in here. So if you go down to the DigitalOcean one, you get your coupon code. Now I hid mine, just so you guys don't see it. I don't know if uh, it's dangerous or anything for you guys to see it. I already use it anyways, but just in case. Click on use your offer code on the DigitalOcean website. It's going to ask you to log in. You can see at the top here it has a student promo code. So it says valid for new users only. I checked yesterday. I already had an account and I logged in. I didn't use the account yet, but I still already had the account. So you can just log in and you should get the extra $50 in your account it's for a total of $60, which amounts to 12 months of free VPS. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If it worked for you, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any friends who are also interested in getting a VPS for free or even just a GitHub account for free, definitely share this video with them so they can use our referral code as well. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.